Hello, this is Padma. Welcome to my YouTube channel Passion Padma. Today I am doing the poem Romeo and Juliet written by William Shakespeare. It's first chapter, second PUC, English language. Romeo and Juliet is a sad story of two young lovers. Let me tell the background of the story. Romeo belongs to the Montague family. He is the son of Lord Montague. Juliet is the daughter of Lord Capulet. They belong to two respectable families of Verona city, the Montagues and the Capulets. The two honorable families have grudges against each other and have been fighting each other as sworn enemies for a long time. Capulets and Montagues are rivals. But strangely, Romeo is attracted toward Juliet. Romeo and his friends attended the party of Capulets without any invitation. The Capulets are greeting their guests in the party. Romeo goes to the party at Grand Supper hosted by Lord Capulet. He goes there uninvited to see Rosalind, whom he loves. Rosalind was Capulet's niece and Juliet's cousin. Here, Romeo meets Juliet in the dance floor. Hope the background story is clear. The poem starts with Rosalind's words. According to Rosalind, they Romeo sees Juliet on the dance floor and is fascinated by Juliet's beauty. After the dance, he learns that she is the daughter of Lord Capulet. Juliet also feels attracted to the man from the enemy family. The following verses express their implicit feelings for each other. Romeo and Juliet is a tragic story written by William Shakespeare. Now let me read the first extract and explain line by line. This is taken from the play Romeo and Juliet, Act 1, Scene 5. Oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night. The first two lines tells us that Romeo compares Juliet's beauty to nature. Romeo describes Juliet as a source of light, like a star against darkness. She dot dot does teach the torches to burn bright. Romeo says that even the bright light of a torch would look dull before the brightness of Juliet. He tells she is so beautiful that the brightness of her face surpasses the light of the torches against the darkness of the night. Romeo says he has never seen true beauty till that night. The third line says, as a rich jewel in an Ethiopian's ear. Romeo says that the beauty of Juliet is like a jewel which is hung in the ear of an African or Ethiopian woman. It means she seems to shine like a precious jewel in an Ethiopian's ear. Beauty too rich for use for earth too dear. So showy a snowy doubt drooping with growth. Romeo says Juliet is too beautiful to belong to earth. Her beauty is too precious for the earth. It has heavenly quality. She shines above the other ladies as much as white dove shines among a flock of crows. Romeo says, Juliet is like white snow that is flying with common people. The next two lines, as yonder lady over her fellows shows, the measure done I will watch her place of stand. And touching hers, make bless my rude hand. So after the dance is over, Romeo wants to watch the place where Juliet stood. Romeo decides to meet her and touch her hand with his hand to bless his crude or roughly hand. Did my heart laugh till now forswear its sight for I never saw the beauty till this night. He asked himself whether his Heart has loved any lady till then. He says he has never seen a real beautiful woman till that night. 
Romeo believed that he had now distinguished between artificially of his love towards Rosalind and a genuine feeling for Juliet who has inspired him. Romeo further asked a question whether he ever loved anyone before. He feels this is true love. Now let me briefly tell a short gist of the first extract. Romeo is fascinated by Juliet's beauty. Romeo feels that Juliet can teach the torches to burn bright. Juliet's charms more than the brightness of the light. Juliet's beauty seems to be too rare and splendid that seems to hang upon the cheek of the night as a rich jewel in an Ethiopian year. Juliet's beauty is too rich for use, too dear for the earth. Juliet appears to Romeo a white snowy dove and her companions appear to be crows. Romeo wants to touch her hands and get his rude hands blessed by her soft and gentle touch. Romeo asks himself whether his heart ever loved before this woman as he never saw such true beauty. Second extract, Juliet. This is taken from Act 3, Scene 2. Let me explain line by line now. In the Capulet's party, Juliet also looked at Romeo and had fallen in love with him. Juliet is inviting the knight. The knight she is inviting is none other than Romeo himself. The second line, for thou wilt lie upon the wings of night. Juliet compares Romeo to night. Juliet calls Romeo a day in the night. Whiter than new snow on a raven's back. Raven is a black crow. Juliet sees the night like a raven bird with wings on which Romeo would ride and come as a new snow. Here in short, Juliet describes Romeo as whiter than snow on raven's back. Come gentle night, come, loving black broad night. Here, Juliet decides to marry Romeo. Juliet described Romeo as she and Romeo met under the night time. Juliet calls a night a gentle night and a black browed night. She calls it to bring her Romeo to her. She wants the night to come quickly. Give me my Romeo when I shall die. Take him and cut him out in little stars. She wants the night to come quickly. She imagines that after Romeo's death, he would be cut into pieces. Juliet wants nothing from the night except her love Romeo. Juliet has a realistic view of death and says, even if she dies, she wants to make their love immortal. The last two lines, and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garnished sun. Juliet says that Romeo should form part of stars in heaven. She wants the night to come quickly. Juliet would like Romeo to become a star. Juliet says the presence of Romeo among the stars would enrich the beauty of stars. Romeo would be transformed into stars shining brightly in the sky according to her. A brief explanation of the second extract. Juliet also equally feels a wonderful birth of love for Romeo, a man from the enemy family. She invites both the knight and her love, Romeo to come to her as soon as possible. She longs for the gentle knight to fall. In Juliet's imagination, Romeo seems like a bright day, though it is a dark night. She believes that he brightens her life. He looks whiter than the new snow on the raven's back, which is compared to the night and glows by surpassing the dark night. She thinks that he definitely comes in the night to see her as he cannot see her during the day. She wishes to make her Romeo an immortal being by requesting the night to take him and cut him out in little stars in the sky after her death so that he will make the face of heaven so fine. Romeo would shine as a bright star. 
so brightly in the night sky that it would even outshine the sun. The last statement says, according to Julian, people will ignore the sun looking at the beauty of the night and doesn't want the world to worship the, the garnished sun, the decorated sun. Julia's love was much more passionate and intense than that of Romeo. Hope it was interesting. Thank you. Goodbye. This is Padma. Have a good day.